This segment of the news is brought to you by Finance of America. For all your mortgage needs, call Amy Childress or Shannon Keller at 702-372-6607. Welcome back to News 46. Well, this Saturday, kids can get free airplane rides courtesy of the Experimental Aircraft Association. This Saturday, uh, we're going to have the Young Eagles program here at Calvada Airport. And uh, the uh, pilots that will be um, involved can come from all around the area, uh, some from Laughlin, uh, down Lake Havasu, uh, will be uh, uh, Henderson, uh, North Las Vegas, even Las Vegas, and Boulder City, and uh, some of us from Calvada Airport. And the kids get to take a free airplane ride, right? Yes, that's correct. Uh, you get a free airplane ride. After the airplane ride, the pilot will give the, the uh, um, person a, um, a certificate showing that he made a flight, mm -hmm. and that will give him some opportunities that uh, he can get uh, some free things because of that. And uh, if he wants to pass a test that uh, actually is a, a fairly uh, hard test, mm -hmm. The uh, information that you need to know about is given away by the Sporty's Pilot Shop, and it's uh, probably uh, around $200 worth of, of, of uh, schooling equipment to learn how to fly. Wow. Yeah. This is all done online, right, the testing? I'm sorry? Is the testing all done online? Uh, it, uh, I believe there's, uh, it will be online, uh, and uh, they would follow the uh, instructions that they would get with the test information and to to learn more about it uh, it's www.eaa.org mm -hmm. and, and if you go to that site mm -hmm. the parents and the children can learn exactly what they need to do all right this is all done at the Calvada airport at highway 160 in simpkins it's all kids under the age of 18 can go this saturday there's no qualifications um they just need to uh, have a love for uh flying Absolutely. and uh this is all to get them involved in flying and learn more about it right yeah i think it's 7 to 17 or or 8 to 17. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the uh, kids will get a good information there about whether they're interested in flying or not. Well, a number has come in for the free event that provided medical, dental, and vision to our community called Remote Area Medical. The normally one-time service has kindly considered coming back to Pahrump next year. I have it on unofficial information. I haven't had it confirmed yet by Night Communities Coalition, but that the RAM event serviced just under 500 people um, last weekend. So Are they coming out again? I don't think so. Not that, not, not a, that I, there's priority. nothing scheduled that I know of. I, I have a report on that, and I was going to read it um, at the Commissioner Management comments. Oh, okay. okay. Well, we can still do it there if you want. Th thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Pam. All right, so why don't we just go into uh, item number seven, which is the uh, commissioner management comments. Again, this is limited to announcements or topics or issues proposed for future workshops and agendas. Commissioner Brasky. Yes, I'll read an email from Stacy Smith from Night Communities Coalition. Uh, the RAM event, and I'm not sure what the RAM stands for. Uh, it says, hi, Butch, preliminary numbers. We were able to register 462 patients and provide $149,172 in services, approximately 165 pairs of glasses, 75 dental services, extractions, fillings, cleanings, 50 women's health, also generated health diabetic checks and physicals occurred. Numbers coming in on the immunization, flu shots and mammograms once RAM staff is settled back in Tennessee, they will send more data, and I'll give you an update at that time. Um, this took all of the communities to make it happen. Many donors and volunteers here from even Vegas and a few from California and Arizona. <clears throat> Many businesses donated. Uh, key partners were medical professionals, and they were amazing and tireless. 
Uh, do not have all the data yet, but uh, it was a huge success. It was all free. It didn't cost anybody a dime. It was amazing. The deadline to register to vote in this year's general election is quickly approaching. You must register to vote by October 8th if you don't have a Nevada state ID or October 18th if you do have an ID. You can register to vote by going online to IvilVote.com. You must be 18 years of age or older on or before Election Day, which is November 8th. You must be a U.S. citizen and reside in the county for 30 days and in the precinct for 10 days before the election and have your civil rights restored if you were convicted of a felony. Early voting is October 22nd through November 4th. Early voting in Pahrump is held at the Nye County Courthouse on Basin Avenue. On election day, you must vote at your designated voting place. Polls are open from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. You can find your polling place by going to nvsos.gov forward slash vote. Search to vote for absentee ballots, you must request one in person at the Nye County Clerk's Office or go online to nvsos.gov. You can get more information on voting by texting NV to 47246 or call the Nye County Clerk's Office at 775-751-7040. A drug called rapamycin is showing amazing effects on animals and humans. After nearly a decade of research showing that it makes mice live up to 60% longer, scientists are trying it out as an anti-aging drug in dogs and humans. Rapamycin was discovered nearly 50 years ago in soil collected from Easter Island in the South Pacific and studied in a Canadian lab. And it's the most promising drug to fight aging that scientists have ever seen. Researchers at the University of Washington's Dog Aging Project gave rapamycin to 16 dogs and imaged their hearts. They say that their hearts functioned better and started to look more youthful. The dogs only took rapamycin for only 10 weeks. The drug has had very limited testing in healthy humans. They reported that the side effects of rapamycin are relatively well tolerated. Researchers don't like to use the name anti-aging, though. Instead, they prefer to think in terms of treatments that will delay the onset of diseases of aging, such as dementia or heart disease. Scientists are now doing studies on groups of humans. The drug can be ordered online. All right, stay tuned to News 46. We have some local entertainers who came by our studio, and you don't want to miss all the entertainment and fun.